Hi guys, so this is going to be the next 48 reading for Virgo. I hope you're fantastic. So the sun's in Aquarius and the moon is in Taurus. It will be moving over into Gemini. So grounded emotions, uh, things that have to do with material or aesthetic pleasure or beauty could make you feel very happy at this time. Um, tangible things, makeup, cars, clothing, all of that stuff could actually uh, really help you. Um, and it could be, it's squared to the collective. So it could be something about setting yourself apart from others, um, dressing nicely. Uh, Virgo energy is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is in retrograde. So there could be some thoughts or communication or thoughts from the past of what people thought of you and your appearance and now you're completely different north node energy here passing through to the subconscious mind you've transformed you're no longer the way you used to be and in fact you're so much better um this is karma so this is about good karma overcoming that fear of the subconscious mind of what other people think of you and really putting your best foot forward with um, the moon in Taurus and Mars here. Looking good and feeling good. So this is squared off with what other people think and say. But if you're putting yourself first and really taking care of yourself, it doesn't matter what other people think. And this is part of your karma to sort of overcome um, any fear about that. Okay, so... Let's see what we have here coming in for the sign of Virgo. It also be healthy, being very healthy. The moon, you'll feel better if you eat healthy food. Like salads and light energy, light food rather than heavy food. You'll, your emotions, you will feel better. And it might be squared to the collective, so if people around you eat cheeseburgers every day, you might have to do something different than the collective, because it's at a square. So it means you have to do something a little different, or there could be a tension. So let's see, what do we have here with Virgo? What do we have to see here for Virgo? Next 48, the Sun card, happiness, joy, great success optimism, positivity. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, I'm not going to take all that. Wow. Okay, what do we get here in the crossing for Virgo? There it is. Temperance, patience, cooperation, tempering your emotions, having a balanced perspective. It could be um, go with the flow energy. It could be Sagittarius. There is a two of cups. There's harmony and love between you and another person. Recent past here, there's defensive, fiery energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody who feel, who's acting very defensive. But harmony comes in. Truth comes in here. Clarity, truth, victory. New information. There is love here. There is appreciation, I feel. There's compassion, consoling. We have the judgment, something that's being raised up. Um, divine timing, maybe, even. So the energy of you is competition or conflict with someone. Someone around you decides to move on or avoid communication with you. You're hoping for a happy home or a twin flame soulmate with someone. 
and you get the justice, fairness, balance, equality comes into your situation. The world. So there could be a divorce or separation. What is the Two of Cups? What is the Two of Cups? The Knight of Coin and the Death in the Reverse. This literally flipped out and flipped reversed. So something here is not over. There could be a Scorpio involved. Um, wow. So I got the Emperor. There could be an Aries here. Could be a person from your past. Mercury retrograde could be bringing someone back from the past. But there's five of wands. Your energy comes up competitive. What is five of wands? Six of wands, fire sign energy coming in, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Mercury and fire. So a lot of communication from a fire sign. Six of coin, paying someone um rewarding someone and then we have here justice fairness balance equality justice is coming in okay so what do we have here for the justice in the world what is justice in the world two of wands you feel like going in a new direction there's a king of cups here a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio or someone feels very emotional Five of Cups is here. Somebody feels sad about something that happened. What is the Emperor? What is the Emperor? Wow. Six of Cups. Could be a person from your past. Okay. Could be somebody you work with. Eight of Pentacles was on the bottom. There could be a water sign comes towards you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, death reversed. The situation's not over. They want to reconnect. Um, why are you defensive if you're defensive? What is the Ace of Swords about? What is the Ace of Swords? Ten of Pentacles, money, wealth, abundance, long-term commitments. Um, what is... The King of Cups about. Okay, so we got for that the Four of Wands, which is what you were wanting, a stable, happy home. We get here Gemini energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Communication, maneuvering, manipulation. So what is this um, Six of Cups? Who's coming back? Three of Cups, a reunion. Virgo, and there's a three of swords, so there's some heartbreak around this situation. Maybe somebody's coming to you with their, inform with their story, they want to tell you something. Six of wands, somebody here is coming back around, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're coming in as Queen of Pentacles, very grounded, earth sign energy. What is the Two of Wands here? Why is it here? No. Yeah. What is the Two of Wands? Two of Cups. It could be someone you know is getting a divorce. There's a change. Some... Earth sign energy feels left out in the cold. Earth sign energy independent and queen of cups. So there's somebody coming in to express their deepest emotions to you. You could be hoping for a commitment from someone. This person comes back around wanting to reconnect. First chakra, Archangel Michael, the angel of protection. 
all tied up. Someone feels trapped. But then we have here the door to personal healing and happiness. The doors are opening for the rainbow to fly, come in. The dove is flying through the doors. It could be an opportunity for peace with someone. Angel of Strength. Could be Leo. And then we have Caring Connections. So it could be love. It could just be a caring friend. Somebody who wants to come to you um, for your advice. I'm going to leave it here for you. Thank you for watching and take care.